All Out will go down as the greatest pay-per-view ever in AEW. From the Mac Classic delivered in a cage that saw the Lucha Brothers to throw the Young Bucks as the World Tag Team Champs. The shocking arrival of Ruby Soho, who went on to win the Casino Battle Royale, to the stunning entrance of Adam Cole and Brian Danielson. All Out was an incredible night of pro wrestling. Order the replay now. More on this coming up Wednesday on Dynamite, live on TNT from Cincinnati. All right, first off, fashion faux pas. Bear country, you're wearing fur? Fur? Fur. Fur. Don't you know fur is murder? Yeah, on our eyes. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Cruella DeVille? Hey, newsflash, she died. Wait, wait, that's not what happened. Yeah, yeah, that's not the point of it. It doesn't matter. Just it what I mean. doesn't matter. Yeah. Tonight, we're giving you a hostile makeover, Bear Country. That's right. Speaking of makeovers, Dante Martin with your little hood, what is that thing that you wear? No, it's like, it's almost like 1997. You but... weren't even born then, kid. Oh, oh. I don't know what the 90s are. I'm oh, too young. But tonight, I'm a baby. tonight, it's the main event. JD Drake taking on Dante Martin. Listen. Dante, 97, 07, whenever you was born, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters tonight is the next outfit that's picked out for you. It's gonna be your last. Ooh, that's right, baby. Wingman, out. Joined by the one and only Paul White and the one and only Eddie Kingston. Eddie Big Kingston, Big Money Eddie. How uh -oh. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm good, man. I'm excited to be here with my two friends, Tony Schiavone and Eddie Kingston, who brightens up my day just being in the same room with him. There you go. With that in mind, let's go to Justin Roberts. And his orange face. I said it. <laughs> This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first at a combined weight of 390 pounds, the team of Pretty Eater Avalon and the Hollywood Hunk, Ryan Nemeth. Can we call Peter the wild card, Pretty Peter? Because when you look at him in the eyes, there's, there's something not right. There's something, I think it's the mustache. I think the mustache throws it off. And there's the hunk with his, what is that, an Academy Award thing? That's his Oscar that he claims he won. That's not an Oscar, that's like a, an Edgar. Or a Dundee, anybody? <laughs> all right. All right, all right. All right. A little, little office humor. All right, well, you see that uh, Cesar Bononi and uh, J.D. Drake didn't make their way down. But this is going to be a great tag team match. We're looking forward to it because it's the first time we've seen Bear Country here on Elevation in quite a while. Oh, wow. There they are. See, wild card, wild card. Look at that. Oh, you're right. And their opponents from Bear Mountain, New York, at a combined weight of 604 pounds. Bear Bronson, Bear Boulder, Bear Country. Uh, here they are, Bear Country. Boulder and Bronson. Big men, big, big, angry men, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Bold is recovered from a torn bicep, right? You know, he did an incredible match where he was competing against uh, uh, Jurassic Express, if my memory serves me. Right? Now you're right, you're right, and he continued the match. He ripped it early in the match and continued. Yeah, well, there's nothing when you look at these guys, you don't see soft. No. These guys are tough. And four months later, here they are back together. They're excited. They're ready to go, man. It's been four months. Four months in wrestling is an eternity. Boy, you're not kidding. It is. These are two big, athletic, hungry talents. And I don't mean hungry like they're going to pull up the table and eat all your food. I mean, these guys are hungry for championships. And well, uh, the wild card, Pretty Peter. And there he goes. Oh, oh Peter. Smart by Pretty yeah. Peter. Starting early, getting the quick shot, and going to the other corner to get it done. No fear. I told you he's a little, he's a whack job. A little yeah. crazy eyed. Reversal now, and Bronson sends him in. And, oh, big elbow. Well, you just can't 
Paul, you know Ooh. this better than any, anybody else. If someone tries to run into a big man, more times than not, that's not going to work. Well, you know, it's just physics. You know, that's, sure. the, that's the thing that guys forget. They always talk about it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. But physics come into play. And when you got a weight advantage like, you know, these guys have against Pretty Peter, then oof, I commend Pretty Peter by initiating the attack, but, you know, continuing through with a shoulder tackle is not the smartest thing he's done today, like growing that mustache. No, not at all. But you know what? I got to challenge your little physics here. Just attack the eyes. Not uh, true. I mean, you know, there's an old saying, you know, if you, got, if you attack the eyes, a guy can't see, can't breathe, he can't fight. There you go. You can't work out your eyes, folks. Tag him. <laughs> Although, if there, if there was a program, I think Peter, Pe uh, Pretty Peter's the one that's been working his eyes out. They look Ooh. pretty uh, nuts. Like they got a pump. Look at <laughs> uh, at, at big, uh, big Boulder. Here's a tag. Oh, the hunk. The hunk's going to come in. Wild swing. Yeah, you might not want to uh, go there, Hunk. He wants two points. He used to amateur. Re yeah, well, he needs to pay attention to what he's doing in the ring here. This isn't Hollywood. You don't have a stunt men to reset. I don't. I don't get this. I. I, I really don't. I, I understand you got to try to make a name for yourself and, and get out there, but to turn your oh. back on a guy this size who's back and who's hungry like Bear Boulder. But look at this. And when you have someone like Pretty Peter who got your back, you know, you can feel like you can. Well, had his back. Pat is back. Yeah, very true. Past tense, folks. Right. Oh. And there's your physics. Wow. <laughs> physics 101. Yeah, right, man. When a light, pretty object runs into a wall. Yeah, 6'6", six, six, 200, or make that 339 Oof. pounds. And here comes Bronson back in. It's just amazing when you throw those numbers around now, how big guys are now. 6'6", six, six, 339 pounds. Absolutely. Yeah. Oof. And that 6'6", six, six, dude, just took a nice little spill. Well, that's physics. It's hard to stop all that. On Can the we stop? All right. We got the physics stuff going, all right? Keep physics Welcome. going. Physics is going to be the theme of the night. It apparently is. Physics. Uh, I hate it. Physics 101 here oh. on Elevation. Oh. And a nice. Kick. So, wow, see, see, that's what drives you nuts is that he throws a cover. Right. One. He throws a drop kick like that, and you're like, then why dance? Why hey, I get why it. Dance. I get it. Exactly. You know, well, you know, if he could put all those together, that athletic ability, if he put it all together, he might be fighting for a world championship. Well, and that's the point of being in this sport. But also, he's kind of conceited. When you call yourself a hunk, of course you're going to go in the ring and start dancing. And well, let's be honest, Eddie. If you look like that, what would you call yourself? Not a hunk, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> One. Maybe the, the, oh, go ahead, the other brother? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Heyo! Oh, oh, Heyo! Oh, oh, oh. A little inside baseball, but look at this. This is impressive. The neck strength is ridiculous on this. Look. Yeah, again, athletic ability. Ryan Nemeth has all that athletic yeah. ability. Ah, uh, see, going after the eye. See, he's smart. Smart. You know. And, you know, both, both you guys were in the formative years of your career a number of years ago. When was that? Uh, just a number of years ago. Okay. And so you know you make mistakes. You know you got to learn from it. And maybe more time you're in the ring, he's going to learn from it here in. in well, uh, it's just a matter of when Ryan gets serious. You know, that's yeah. the thing. Right now, he's in a nice little group. They're all waxed and vaxxed and selling their t shirts <laughs> and, and you know, doing all the stuff that they're doing. When Ryan wants to get serious, he, he'll realize he has the ability to be a world champion contender. Look, Until I, then, yeah. he's going to be one of the boys having fun. And yeah, exactly. But look at this, the big man coming right here, firing away. Nice double drop kick, Rock and Roll Express style, baby. Good teamwork. Cover. I, I bust on Ryan and I bust on Peter, but let's be honest, you're, you're not going to be in AEW without having some type of athletic ability. Yes, no, without a doubt. Oh, could be going for an exploder. There it is. Nicely wow. done. Make that tag. Bronson brings Big Bear Boulder in once again. Hey, hey, double that. clothesline. How about that? How about that, Shivani? Let me know. OK. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I was asking you how about that. <laughs> and Here we go. 339 oh. pounds with that. On the hunk. Yeah, pretty Peter bailed out of that one. I don't blame him. Watch out here now. The wild card. Uh, He's that oh, straight. This is insane to me. What, what, what are you tearing? This is how he in? tore his bicep, but he was catching Luchasaurus. But still, ah! Pretty Peter's a little bit easier to catch, but it's still impressive. I don't think I've ever seen somebody complete that like Boulder does. I've seen guys do it, but not like Boulder. You know what I mean? It's no, a his, huge stability, his stability is off the charts. And now this is, this uh -oh. is insane. Here we go. Here yeah. we go. Oh, this is a lot of weight. This is where Ryan Nemeth turns into a carpet stain. Run, Nemeth, run! The elevator splash. One, two, two three.
Bam. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, somebody's hitting wait. the ring. It's Benoni. Caesar. Oh, wow. Right wow. in the back of the head. And here's Drake in as well. Drake's a hard hitter, man. So is Caesar. And they're taking their shots after this match. There you go. These Get are the heaters. Oh, wait. We have a. They're ugly. Oh. Get them. They're Hostile ugly. Hostile makeover. Those ugly faces. <laughs> Oh, you country bear jamboree bitches! Whoa! Wow! wow. Hey, Let's told get you. out of here! Jamboree, wow! Oh. Told you, wild card. Look at him! Look at him! He's wow. whacked out. We don't need it. We don't need it. You're welcome. You look better after that ass whooping. Ooh! Tonight, tonight, you're about to see more hostile makeover. My man JD. It's gonna beat your ass, Dante Martin. Ooh, wow, okay. I, look at him, he's nuts. He does look crazy. I know we have HR here. Maybe we need to set him up with an appointment. I don't know. I just want to check your suitcase and make sure there aren't any skin suits in there, you know? Whoa. A little Ted Bundy-ish for me with that look. I have no idea what to say next. <laughs> uh, we'll be back for more on Elevation. <laughs> Up next on Elevation and Women's Competition, Japanese royalty, Emi Sakura. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making her way to the ring from Chiba, Japan, Emi Sakura. Emi Sakura, her brother Jay, Lulu Pencil. Lulu! There you go, this is. Real Japanese royalty walking through the ring right now. Well, it really is. If you, if you go back and you talk about her career, not only as a, a wrestler, a competitor, but as a trainer, she has trained some of the great, including a couple of former AEW Women's World Champs. That's right, and the benchmark for the women's division in Sheena. But where's Lulu? There's Lulu. There's Lulu, that's what I'm about. There you go, Lulu. I want to know, where do you look at a job opportunity? Oh, come on. <laughs> that wasn't nice. I want to Kate. Kate. Illinois, Missa Kate. Missa Kate. I bet you she's, uh, yeah, you hear the cheers. Family's here. Yeah. Good for her. Good for her. She got, uh... Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. this is pro wrestling. Man. Yeah, and well, just, I'm not here to make friends. Yeah, so. but but really going in the ring against Amy Sakura probably would be an honor for someone like Mr. Kate, right? To oh yeah, without a doubt. But uh, honor doesn't pay the bills. You got to win. Well, <laughs> that's it. well said, Eddie. Well said. Yeah, that whole being a mark and all that ended when you get in. Okay. Yeah. For, for some. For, for some. Start, <laughs> when you start getting a check, it should end. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nicely done. Good double hand stuff. Oh, come on. Wow. I enjoy this. I, I get it. But yeah, come on. This, this is like right out of your playbook, Eddie. Come on, guys. This, oh. is, this not... is just ugly, confrontational, pugilistic okay. wrestling. That's scary. Yeah, it is. But it's not Emi Sakura. At least not the Emi Sakura that I remember. Well, no, it's much more aggressive. Things change. Things change, Shivani. When you want to win, you got to do things differently. You know what I mean? I know what you mean, Eddie. No, you don't. No, yes, I do. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, wow. Well, you that, gotta look, look at Emmy's attitude, too. She was stuck in Japan during everything. Yeah. You know, while her student, you know, is over here succeeding, you know, becoming, you know, AEW Women's Champion, defending the AEW Women's Championship. Oof. And Emmy's over there in Japan. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Maybe she got a little mad, like Mr. Wrestling 2 did with uh, Magnum. That's right, bringing it wow. back. Wow, that's a way back machine. Man, how about that? That was before I was born. Double <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> scratching no, her back. You guys didn't have to comment on that. Well, you know? come on, brother. You threw it out there. Right. Anyway, no, scratching her back, double under. <laughs> oh, oh Misa. Oh. There's oh, that I'll... experience. Nice drop kick. There you go, right. Misa. There you go. Cover hooks the leg. Wow, she almost got it. And that she hooked the leg huge. aggressively, too. Yep, that would be a huge upset. Don't let her get up. Uh, oh. She did. Oh! oh. Integrate. The, the first one don't get you, the second one will. That was a high kick, Shivani. One, two, 
Aren't Enziguri's high kicks? No, Enziguri are back brain kicks. Back brain, but they kicked the back of her brain. No, I'm not no, going to argue. High kicks. Not going to argue a match Inziguri. with you here. No, you, you know what? Are, you guys are being awful technical. Oh, thought wow. that. That's fine. A slap to the U. That's a slap and a lariat with a chop. I enjoy that. May steal it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, no, that's a pretty good move. I don't think I have the coordination for that. So you know what? Maybe I don't either. I, I should practice on somebody. I mean, somebody. you got to think about that. That's pretty good coordination to sink a chop in and follow Maybe up I'll... the lariat. Oh! My chap, big cross body. There it is. Maybe I'll beat up uh, five in the back practicing it. There you go. Double underhook, and I pick up. Oh! oh do a back back break. Break. One, two. Well. Picks her up. That is. Uh... Oh man, I just get excited, folks. And now the people are booing. Relax. She wants to hit one more. Let her hit one more. Oh. 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 Yes, I remember this. She holds it for a while. Good night. Oh, boy. And that was even higher up. Sakura. In the scapula area yeah, of this match. Any Sakura. Definitely imposing her will, that's for sure. Good job on Mr. Gate, though. Bringing a good fight out. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that veteran experience comes through and just a, a meaner attitude. Yeah, but that doesn't. You now know, she's the checking her watch to see what her time was. Oh. That cross body in the corner that just knocks the wind out of you. All the blood rushing to the top of your head. Knee to the back of the shoulder blades. Missy Kate is out. Emmy is getting the pin. Be nice to Lulu. Lulu pencil out with. Emmy Sakura, who gets yet another win here at AEW, is now five and one this year. <laughs> wow, elite general manager, huh? The greatest wrestler of all time, getting his hands on his own professional wrestling game where I create the cards. This is my universe. We have a challenger online. What would a layman know about professional wrestling, huh? Is there a Clearly some bugs in the system or something. I'm not, I don't lose. I've got every belt in the universe. How am I losing in this game? Think you have what it takes? Prove it with AEW Elite General Manager. Draft your favorite AEW wrestlers and book your own shows from week to week. Download AEW Elite General Manager. Available now on iOS and Android. Next on Elevation, we will see the murder hawk monster, Lance Archer. This battle is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring with his opponent, GPA. From Hearn, Texas, weighing 273 pounds, the murder hawk monster, Lance. Archer! Yeah. Well, what do you think about this, Eddie? Bring it, bringing his work to the ring. Poor GPA, man. You know, he looked at himself. Thought he had a chance tonight. Not a television he opportunity. And he runs into the murder hall. He knew. Once he saw his name up on that, that whiteboard, he knew it was over. Uh, he should have jumped in the car and left. Well, well people need to pay that. You know, the losers get a win. Hey, yeah, when the medical bills are more than the payday, that's not a winning combination. No, it's not. Lance Archer looking for win number 35, and it looks like it's not going to. Well, oh, wow. PA uses the quickness here. Well, look at a little drop step, a little yeah. turn them around here, then there's that. There's physics. that thing called physics. Physics. Well, you can't really talk about Lance Archer without talking about America's top team. Oi! Dan Lambert. Yeah, Dan Lambert's kind of mean. Man. Yeah, and Dan Lambert obviously has some sort of a. Alliance here with the, watch out, with the, with the team of Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you trying to tell me this one? Yeah. No, this, this I know. That's, that's all good stuff. But I just look at how aggressive the murder. Good night. Just. That's very Stan Hansen esque. Right there. Very Stan Hansen esque. His whole movement in the ring is kind of like Stan Hansen is. It's just a. A wide open. This hurts. Butt kicking. This hurts. Yep. Man, does it ever. Choke slam I, with a wedgie. Yeah, I, I fought Lance a couple times. Yeah. yeah. Everything hurts. Yeah, he's what you call in our business snug. Ay, <laughs> Doma. Just definitely tell that his time in Japan has really influenced his style. Yep. Yes, it has. Yes. In the U.S. And here we go. This is it right here. The folks. blackout. 
And good night. One, two, three. There is your winner, the Murder Hawk Monster, Lance Archer. Well, one thing for sure, you don't get paid by the minute when you're the Murder Hawk. Nah, he knows. He wants to go to the back and have a couple of drinks and hang out. Here it is again. <laughs> there it is. Oh, good. Right, right, right about then, you were talking about Stan Hansen about yes, Larry. Yeah. Yeah. Blackout. Now you're right about his time in Japan, just like Stan Hansen's time in Japan, right? Yeah. Yes, sir, for all Japan and New Japan. That's right. The Murder Rock Monster is win number 35, and it gets it here on Elevation. Up next on Elevation Women's Competition, Kira Hogan versus Blair Onyx. This next contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making her way to the ring from Hot Atlanta, Kiara Hogan. Really been very impressed with Kiara Hogan. Even though she's looking for her first win here in AEW, girl's got a lot of upside. And you can tell she's a very confident, cocky, if you will, athlete. Spitfire. Eh. Eh. Is that all you get? Ah, eh. She bothers me. God bless her, though. In the ring, great. You know, but, you know, she bothers me. Right. Betty, you're just a heel. A, a, lot, of people, a lot of people, a lot of people bother us. Yeah, you just, know, just I mean, human beings think... naturally bother me. Yeah, we can tell that. You know, you bother a lot of human beings, too. I know, I get paid to do it, though. Through that, amen. from Moscow, Russia, Blair Onyx. Blair Onyx, her second match here in AEW here on Elevation. This is what Elevation's all about, guys. We've got two young ladies looking for their first win in AEW, so it's a big match for both. Well, Kira Hogan has the experience factor for sure. Sure she does. Six years in uh, to Blair's uh, two. Right, absolutely. Hey, by the way, I want to remind everybody that this coming Wednesday, we are going to be in Cincinnati for Dynamite. Ohio! Cincinnati, Ohio, the home of your buddy John Moxley. That's right, that's my buddy, bro. That is your buddy. Ooh, but there's that a chop! Buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Figure, wow! Kara's doing this singles competition. Mostly she's a tag team competitor. Yeah, former tag team champion. One, two. By the way, tickets now on sale at AEWTIX.com. It's the Fifth Third Arena Ooh. at the University of Cincinnati. Another high kick there, here we go. I like the block the on the Lariat myself, that was good. Jump in high clothesline in the corner, or lariat in the corner. Here we go. Oh, single legged drop kick there, sliding drop kick. Like I said, Kira may bother me, like everyone does, but she's so good in the ring. I give her that cover. Again, to be in AEW, you have to be a little bit confident in the ring. Yeah, sure you do. You gotta stay on her, though. She has to stay on Blair. Blair, by the way, when you saw that little cartwheel deal, right? that's definitely from her gymnastics background. Little matrix type maneuver that time. And creepy the way she yelled. Oh, yeah, oh boy. A little bit of a telegraph oh. on that. Nice side kick to the throat. Great thrust on that what kick. Does she have a hook for it? Neck breaker! Oh, oh, oh she oh. holds it! That's Two, nice! Three, she caught nice. it. Face the music. That was expect that was really good. That yeah, was really you're a fan now. Yeah, yeah no, of that Ooh. move. The swinging fisherman's neck breaker is called face the music. Yeah, when I did it, it was called the Swinging Fisherman Neck Break, you know what I mean? But anyway. That's right. <laughs> well, you know the kids nowadays, they put their own spin on it. Yeah, like this, but look how she hooks it. Look she how does. she has her hands hooked. And the tippy toes. Kira Hogan, you have impressed me. That's I'll technically go. perfect. Yes. Oh, I see what you did there. All right, pal. East Atlanta, baby. That's where she's from, the Gator. Kira Hogan gets the win. He oh, I can't have the last word? No. Diamante, you and I, we go way back. We've been through the trenches together. So you should have known better to come to step to me incorrectly. Big time grudge match here. It has been brewing for a number of weeks. The rules to a three strikes match are clear. It starts at the first level, a pinfall. Second, a submission. Third, a knockout. As far as advantages go, falls in my court. After the first fall and the first submission, there's no rules. And that's where 
la más dura, thrives the most. After this, no one will have any doubt in their mind about who is superior. I gotta put her in her place, and that's gonna be the end of it. When it's all said and done, pinfall, submission, I'm gonna get that chain and wrap it around my fist, and my fist is gonna meet your jaw. Former AEW Women's Champion Nyla Rose with Vicky Guerrero coming up next. This battle is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. To be accompanied to the ring by Vicky Guerrero from Washington, D.C., the native beast, Nyla Rose. Wow. All right, they wrote on the paper flames. Where are these flames so I don't get nervous? Right and then they are, and that burns. Real close, guys, real close. Uh, during the winter time, that would have come in handy for us. Oh, yeah, definitely, but it's, uh, you know, not the winter. Yeah. The winter is coming. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. No. The native beast, Nyla Rose, and the always pleasant, Vicky Guerrero. Yeah, you better say always pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> As we go back to Justin Roberts. From Waukegan, Illinois, Laney Lux. Well, Laney ought to, oh, how about this? Laney Luck trying to get some good luck going her way oh, by getting the first kick in. I get what you did there. Little yeah. Laney Luck, good luck. I get it. Oh. Bad move. And there's Vicky laughing. Just uh, cackling. That's a cackle. Yeah. Okay. That's not a laugh. That's a cackle. All right. You guys said it. Remember that, Vicky. They said it. Oh, true that. I'm sorry, Vicky. Oh, wow. Big high boot by the native beast. And she's not sorry about that, folks, I can tell you. Former AEW Women's World Champion, Nyla Rose. Oh, God, again, a little Vader-esque there. Yeah, this is, just, this is brute force, what this is. A little it's Leon called, White. It's called physics, guys. Oh, God, are we still doing this physics thing? Physics, well, when it comes into play, if physics it broke, 201. It. You know? Yeah. Well, well, watch break. out! Oh! That was just aggressive. That wasn't physics. That was just, you know, hitting your That opponent. was a freight yeah. train. Yeah, not just only. ran not, over. Not only her size and power, but Eddie, you're right, aggressiveness. That's oh, God, oh. just threw her right into the edge of the ring. Oh, and trust me, folks, that hurts a, so much. Yeah. Those, oh. A little aggressive. Lady Lux in a lot of trouble right now. Could have broken ribs, something. Oh, maybe not. She's tough, though. She went head first in that apron. She's still up fighting. Yeah, Good she is her. tough. We saw her. What are we doing here? And I think she went for her runner, but it uh, Good night. Oh, turned the beast into a bomb. beast bomb. Yes, sir, Paul. You're right. This shows that strength and power. There is your winner, the native beast, Nyla Rose. Nyla Rose is just scary, folks. Just scary. Oh, she's got to be one of the most dominant forces in the AEW women's division. Without a doubt. Hey, Shivani's replays are coming. All right, here it is. Take it, Eddie. Ah, uh, splash. Power body told me spot. to take it. What are we doing here? Sit down, power bomb. There it is. The beast box. But Lady did win a t shirt. Thanks for coming. I'm going to get the last word in, Shivani. Wait. Yeah, Nyla Rose. Up next is singles competition on elevation. The acclaims Anthony Bowens goes one on one versus the varsity blondes, Griff Garrison. The acclaim have arrived! This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Natalie, New Jersey, weighing 226 pounds, Anthony Bowens. You know who else is from Nutley, New Jersey? Paul Mahoney, rest in peace, How about that? Good call, man. Here's Andy Bowens of the Acclaim coming to the ring, and a reminder that we return, AEW that is, to the James L. Knight Center in Miami for a very special night of Rampage Live on Friday, October 15th, and then the very special AEW Saturday night, Dynamite, Saturday, October 16th.
Both tickets or tickets for both televised events are on sale now at AWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com. And it's a Puerto Rico company by Julia Hart from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, weighing 230 pounds, Griff Garrison. She just hit him in the face for a little pop pop. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. <laughs> Get rid of him. You're so stiff, Eddie. Light Come on. up. Light Come on. up. It happens, Eddie. Things like that happen. Does she have a manager's license? That's what I really want to know. Well, she might. She's I don't like it. She's a cheerleader, Eddie. Yeah, yeah, I don't need it. You don't need a cheerleader. Well, maybe Griff does. Maybe Griff does. Don't speak to Griff. I'm not. You know what? I maybe said, we should have an interview for Griff. I said maybe Griff does. I didn't say Griff does. I don't deal in maybes. It's either yes or no. Here we go. Lock up. Nice, strong, powerful lock up. You just want to argue is, is the deal. Yeah, you're, basically. Yeah, you're yeah. a little bit argumentative, Eddie. Yeah, no, you really always, are. always. Wants to chop ducks underneath. Nicely done. Here oh. we go. Wow. He lit him up nice. Hurt his own hand there. Notice how when he chopped him out, his feet went off the, off the mat? Yeah, Shivani, I noticed. That's physics. I, I Good can't, call, Josh. I can't Shivani. stand you. Okay. Shivani working the hole. Right. Back to the physics. Oh, Love you it. make me sick, Shivani. And, anyway. <laughs> into the corner. Up and over by Bowens. Boy, Bowen's a phenomenal athlete, man. Sure is. Griff Garrison as well, just that raw, yeah, we young athletic ability that's so untapped right now. I know a lot of people have been comparing uh, Griff to a lot of, you know, legends in the past. I, I'll throw my hat in there and say a little Barry Windham. A little Barry Windham, yeah. Okay, very if he cool. gets, a, you know, more experience and stuff, he has that ability. Big kick. Garrison. Oh, he's back up. What is he going for here? Is this, should he be going for, nope. Tell you, Griff, you're too big for that, bud. You're too big for that. Oh, my goodness. I telegraphed it. Good call on Anthony Bowen's part. Yeah, we know where you claim, Anthony. Get after him. Hey, nice that may get him hyped up. That may get him hyped up. Get him back in the ring, brother. Go. Can't win the match on the floor, guys. Rolls in. Oh, oh look at this, man. Oh, no. Nice. Not this. Just no, he's not ready yet. Oh. I think Anthony's tenderizing him right now. No, I think Anthony's a little mad that he got chopped twice. I, I believe Good so. A, a little Good anger. Thing. Might be mad that that honey complexion's a little red in the chest. Absolutely. They, boy, Oof. just very, very aggressive. Now to cover. One, two, says Mike Posey. That can really do damage to your neck there. That can make your arms, your fingertips go a little numb. Also knock you dizzy. Yep. Kind of hard to kick out if you're, uh, you know, oh, your equilibrium's all knocked off. Ah, oh. uh, nicely into a cravat a, there. Yeah. yeah. Cravat, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, I know Excalibur would have probably sent it to one of y'all at some point. Yeah, you know, that's one of the holds I absolutely hate. Just so brutal on your neck and jaw. Yep. Especially if you have it on the jawline. Yeah, absolutely hate that. There's Angle nothing comfortable out. about a cravat. Snap married him over. Griff got out of Not it. Not like right? a croissant, that everything about a croissant is good. Absolutely. But, you know. Here comes Griff again. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> Big high boot by Anthony Bowens. You can oh. see the redness. And the oh. blockbuster. Wow, blockbuster. Off of the middle turnbuckle pad, one, two, and a two count. Hey, cameraman, can we get a shot of Griff's face? It nice. looks unbelievably red. Yeah, there you go. Eric. From that cravat. You could definitely have the cravat high on him. Yeah, Maybe on the bridge of the nose. You could do it all, buddy. Direct. Oh, I know. Nice. Camera. Here we go. Oh, they're trading. Oh, there's a nice little floor. Looks like smash. Griff Garrison's really knocking Anthony Bowen's bell a little yeah. bit here. Holding his head so he has nowhere to go. He's got that long reach, too, that helped him out. He does have that reach advantage. Yes, sir. And oh, going for a discus lariat there. Dumps him in the knee. Oh! A little bit of a telegraph. And another one. Up and wow! Nicely put down on that scoop slam. Here comes Griff again. Duck underneath. Here we go, Griff. Wow, look at the big man with the European. To twist his body like that to get the European, man, that takes a lot of technique and athletic ability. Well Here we said. go, boom! There's that big high splash in the corner right in the camera's face. Picks him up. Now fucking arrow! No one kicks out! One, Nobody kicks out! Two. And I'm going home. Good night, folks. You're done. And Come I'm back. back Eddie. And yeah. I'm back, and I'm back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just get, you know. It was a little too early to hit Anthony Bones with that. You Anthony know. Bones is a top-tier athlete. No, without a doubt, but it's the Falcon Arrow. Come on. 
Hayabusa. You know what I mean? I Shiba. got it. Here we go, Fireman's Carry. I gotta stop saying here we go after everything. And <laughs> nice goal. It's like by clapping Bowie. your hands before you hit the ropes. There oh. it is. Oh, he missed his uh, discus forearm that time. Oh. But Bowens did not. Oh, big thrust kick that time. Did you see how he stepped back to get more, you know, Clearance. more oomph on that kick? Yeah. Oh, DDT, nicely done. Elevated DDT. One, two, and he's gonna, no, he didn't win it. Excalibur, what does he call that? He's a brain buster. A what DDT? Oh, a cutthroat DDT, because he puts the arm over the throat. Cute. Cute, he says. Cute, God. I get it. Real cute. My God, please don't let Eddie call any of my matches. I also <laughs> like to call it ineffective, because the man's still up anyway. There's a chop. Ineffective, because he's still up. Oh, my goodness. And he's here's Bowens. What has he got? Oh, no. Oh, no. I've seen him do this. This works. This works. Whatever this is called, it hurts. Oh, whatever it's called, Griff Garrison got out of it. Look at this a ability. He punched that time, and he rolls through that one. Ducks Missed. underneath again. Another duck. Catches the foot. Spin. Oh! oh! Both men with rolling elbows. I will not say it's Masawa style because I want to disrespect them. But damn, that was good. That's a, then you call it an NWO Masawa style. It's an almost. And yeah. both uh, both go down. <laughs> Shivani cuts us off before well, we get going. Yeah, yeah. Both men are down, folks. Both men are down. Oh, Andy and Bowen's looking for a little help. Reaching yeah. for that chain boom box. They were all like, what is this going to do? Nothing. It's going to get you DQ'd. You're Gotta not going to win. You're going to get the loser's uh, purse. Well, wait, and wait a second. Oh, 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 got the chain. Max Caster with a chain. And now he's going under the ring. Under the ring. One, two, three. And Julia did the nothing. Claim. Julia <laughs> did nothing. Come on, guys. I think Julia Hart was stunned at what was going on. She didn't have time to react. It's pro wrestling. You no reason to be stunned by anything. They claim back together. There he is, Platinum Max Caster. Uh-oh. Yes, sir. Oh, hold on a Why? second. Where did he get the pool kill from? And he almost hit a, all right. Get him out of here. Tillman's nuts. Tillman, he's a little off. Got the pull cue broken on the top rope. Coming to the end of Rip Garrison. But thanks to Max Cancer, your winner, Anthony Bowens of the acclaim. Anthony Bowens! Next women's competition here on Elevation, we will see Red Velvet. It's time to stir it up. This contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit approaching the ring straight out of your mama's kitchen. Red Velvet. Time to stir it up, Eddie. Not out of my mom's kitchen. Stop dancing, Shivani. Time to stir it up, Red Velvet. I want to remind our fans a couple of things. Remind them. AW is coming to the Tri State area for two consecutive weeks. Wednesday, September 5th at the Prudential Center in Newark. Newark, our first ever Tri State area event. And then on Wednesday, September 22nd at Arthur Ashe Stadium in Queens, AEW Dynamite Grand Slam already. Let's AEW's go. AEW's largest live attendance ever. And here we go. And here's tickets, the queen. Tickets for both shows on sale now at AWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com. Oof. Yeah, well, Red Velvet's going to fire back. Yeah, but the queen don't play. I know I know this woman. Fly from the independence. Yeah, queen She's on not. fire. Everywhere she goes, she improves, and she also shows out. I, I believe it. She, had, she has improved tremendously in the weeks that we have seen her. Only four years in. Nice snap suit play. How about she, how she kicked the leg that time to get more torque on that? Yes, very Tiger Mask, Gus. Yeah. Original Tiger Mask. See, this is where, yeah. Yeah. This is where uh, we can do without that. She can win. Whoa. But she still hits up. Yeah, she, hey, I, 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 I've been wrong before. She showed the weapon, and she used it. All right, Shivani, don't get all happy about it. We get it. Jesus, you're pointing your finger okay. at me and everything. Here we go. Come on. Only not even a one-count red velvet not having it. You used to not like red velvet, I remember, Shivani. 
What are you talking about? I've always Paul, liked Paul, let him know. Let him know, please. You know, my name is Paul, and that's between y'all. I'm just watching this incredible contest in the <laughs> ring right now. Cover. Again, not even. You got to hit. Yeah, Red Velvet don't play, man. There, there's a there's a, a, a terrible mistake that people make that because that I'm friends of the AEW World Champion, Dr. Britt Baker, Oh, we're, DMD, so, we're, we're talking that about I, you still. That, that, I, that I don't like. We're talking, about you. We're talking about you still. No. Here we go. You, you started this. No, no, no. Red Velvet lands on the feet. Nice counter. Good shove. Ooh. Oh, look at ooh. the boxing. Boom. Ooh. Hard forearm to the chest. Oh. Look that speed that Red Velvet has over Queen Aminata right now is her biggest Red advantage. Velvet could be the quickest uh, female on our roster. Oh. Oh, look at that. Sling blade. Sling blade take down oh, another, another one. one. Quesadora. Oh, nice, nice, Bulldog. Oh, wow. Oh, she wow. put everything into that one. She arched big time to get that one. Yeah, the queen was trying not to go down on that one. Physics. Oh, Jesus H. You know that guy? Yeah, you right right Come back on. to the yeah. same hole, buddy. I'm not afraid to work a okay, hole. Okay, there you go. Oh, double news. Oh, she's out. That she just charged out. the whole back. That's like a whiplash, like being in a car wreck when you get that double knee to the back on the yeah. ropes. Oh, she ducks underneath here again. Nice step through, kick to the gut, controls the arm. Oh, there oh. it is! Oh, a different version there, a little pump ski on it. Nicely done by Red Velvet. Hey, no winner of this match. Red Velvet. Yeah, I like that little twist she put on it with a little pump. A little pump there. Yeah. a kick step through, that's nice. Adds a little bit more torque. Here comes the replay, watch. Whoop! There it is, folks. Final slice, baby. Yeah, the final slice. That's what she calls it. Now you can officially say it with a little pump kick there. She made it her own anyway. Red Velvet gets another win. I'm going to get the last word. I know you are, so you've got six I'm seconds. I'm waiting. Red Velvet! As you can see, we are short one member today. And honestly, I am sorry, Dark Water, because it's because of me that Alex is not here today. It's because of what I said. So if any of you is ever unhappy with me about the decisions that I make for this group, then please, let Evil Uno know. No, actually, I got a problem. Five, please, do tell. Yeah, I hate that you think that you run this, that you're some sort of leader here. You're not a leader. You don't act like a leader. You let Alex walk away. You let Adam get beat up by five guys, remember that? You're not a leader, Uno. Look, a leader has to make hard decisions for his group. A leader has to do what is best for every single member of the group. So if you're not happy with that, I am sorry, okay? But it is what is best for Dark Lord. You know what, you wanna prove you're a leader so bad? You wanna show everybody that you're a leader? Why don't you fight me? Why don't you wrestle me, huh? Hey, hey, hey. Jeez, Alex. Alex, oh, 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 no. Yeah. This is... Yeah, yeah, fine. I like that. Wrestle me. What See what happens. Prove it. All right. All right, you have it. Do it. Oh, yeah, five. We don't, we don't this is not a good idea. We it's don't a good, fight it each is. other. This is it's not a good, good idea. idea. Do it? Fight it off. This I is good. not a good it idea, is. guys. It is. Up next on Elevation Men's Tag Team Action, Dark Orders, John Silver, and Ten. Join the Dark Order. This is a tag team bout set for a one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from the key at a combined weight of 429 pounds, the team of John Silver and Dark Order number 10. Join the Dark Order. Well, they don't have the numbers they used to because of the dissension that's taken place within the Dark Order, but they still got the athletes, it doesn't matter what side. And there you see 10 and John Silver. Two of the strongest in AEW. You know, that's really sad, too, to see the Dark Order start to descent like that. It just shows that with a little bit of leadership, Dark Order can be pulled back together. And unfortunately, that leadership is hanging out of pain. Travis Titan and Isaiah Moore. Ah, who cares? You know what I mean? Bands break up, factions break up, and part of life. I like the Dark Order, man. I like them I like together. them, too, but it's a part of life. The Beatles broke up. The Beatles? You know what I mean? Everybody breaks up, man. My gosh, can we get somewhere current in the century? Guns N' Roses came back, you know what I mean? They got the later, maybe that will happen, I don't know. Fans are chanting Johnny Hungy here. 
Yeah. That's all I can say about that. Yeah. 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 Oh! Look at that freak. He's a freak, man. I love it. John Silver? John yeah. Silver's a freakazoid, man. Yeah, I got to interview him. What a great kid, man. Really I wouldn't say him. great. I say freak, and there's a drop kick. He may be a freak, but he's still a great kid. I enjoy his story. I need to do more of that. I need to get in there and. Are you trying to politic one -on, -one on elevation right now? My politicking? Yeah, they're trying to get No, more. I'm just saying I enjoyed it, Eddie. I mean, don't be threatened for crying out loud because I care about what I do. Yeah, I am threatened, but a double soldier boy. I mean, geez, man. Here we go. Uh, bad move, man. You talk about strong guys in our locker room. Oh, young ten, and strong. Yeah. yeah. Ten's old school strong. Like, you know, Country wrestlers boy back strong. in the day, like Paul Orndorff. Yeah. Wow. You know, those guys are just vicious athletes Ooh. and strong. Nice old pumps kick there. Yeah, Travis oh. Titan moved out of the way and then found an elbow in the back of the head of the mask man. Ah, don't make fun of him there, pal. There you go. All right, there you go. Put him in your corner. Where's your ball? Oh, there he is. Oh, nice shot to the gut. Stay Isaiah, on him. Isaiah Moore gets the tag in. Moore and Titan together. Moore, great last name. I appreciate it. Nice little splash there. Oh, tags in yeah. and out. Look at this. Nicely done by this Good team here. teamwork. Stay fresh. Stay aggressive. Trap your opponent in your corner. That's it. Stop jaw jacking, guys. Him. Brutal mistake. No. Not, with, a, not with an athlete the caliber of 10. No. Not a smart move. Oh, double line. Look, he's, he's, he's all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Here we go. Oh, here comes Freakazoid. Silver O got oh. one in the gut for that one. When he gets going, it's very hard to stop, Johnny. Moore and Titan here, double team, try double suplex, mate. No way. He got it. Oh, he got it. Yeah, you freak. Look at him. Hey. And I say it in the most loving way. Coming back from that shoulder injury, no looking way. great, man. No way. Wall darts him. Whoa. That was a oh. wall dart, all right. Good night. Oh. Oh, he landed high on his shoulder then. Release. German suplex that time, and here we go. You want to know some Eddie Kingston facts here about uh, 10? Yeah, go ahead. He doesn't own a shirt with sleeves. Doesn't own a shirt with sleeves. I don't blame nope. him. I, I don't blame him either. Okay, you're oh. a pickup. Oh, oh. Hey. Oh, a power bomb. If I looked like that, I wouldn't own a shirt. Oh. <laughs> well, you couldn't get dinner reservations. Oh. oh, look at that. Well, he's not going to be able to eat anything like that without throwing it up after that spear. Oh, my goodness. Speared him right out of the air. Uh-oh, watch the pump kick. Oh, right in the back of the head. What are we doing here? Johnny got him up. What is this, a rainbow bomb? Yeah! That's what I call it. I love it, rainbow bomb. Let's rainbow go with it. Rainbow bomb. And, and there's oh! a full Nelson. Full Nelson. Boy, when Ted locks that in, it's like a bear trap. There's no man. getting out of it. That's an old school hold, man. Old school works. That's the team of John Silver. And our order number 10. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Join us. I like the music. Look at the power! That's power. And here comes the rainbow bomb. And then the full Nelson wrenching down on that neck by having the shoulders up and just ragdolling him. Put so much pressure on the neck. Some guys pass out, man. All right, I got a couple seconds, Shivani. Here we go. Here we go. Dark Order! One of our feature matches coming up next, Dante Martin of Top Flight will take on J.D. Drake of the Wingmen. For one fall with a 20-minute time limit, approaching the ring from Shelby, North Carolina, weighing 301 pounds, J.D. Drake. One of our feature matches this week here on Elevation. As they promised, they'd be back out, and they bring out J.D. Drake for his match against Dante Martin. Tony Schiavone and uh, Paul White. Eddie Kingston has made his way back to the locker room area. He's got uh, one of our big main event matches coming up in a six-man tag. But Paul, I, I, I've neglected to talk about this during the program, but I do want to talk about what happened to you recently on and, and I know there's lots going on since the time that you and I have talked last but what happened to you at the hands of your friend Billy Gunn in the gun club we'll get your response after this introduction and 
his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 195 pounds, Dante Martin. It was a big weekend in Chicago, I know, Paul, and a lot of great things happened, but what happened on Wednesday night ahead was absolutely beyond comprehension. Because I know how tight you and Billy Gunn have been. Uh, I, I thought we were tight. Um, to be honest with you, Tony, after that, I tried to heal up, ice up, right. get ready for QT, which didn't take me long to get rid of QT. That was quick, fast, in a hurry. Um, it was awesome to be back, get all out in Chicago, compete my first pay-per-view in a long time. Um, now I'm wrestling with uh, the emotional part of Billy Gunn, and I honestly, Tony, I, I honestly don't know what to say. My uh, my heart's broken. Yeah, well, uh, it, it was glad to see you back in the ring, and I think it's very apparent, we want to get at this match, obviously, very apparent that the first chair shot went towards your hip. Yeah. I mean, he, he knew what toward, to do. He didn't go towards my metal hip, which is actually like titanium now, right. which is solid. Right. He knows my history. He knows that my weak hip now is actually my real flesh and blood hip. Sure. That's the one he went after, and uh, it, it worried me going into Sunday against QT, um, but I was able to get it done. I'm not moving as quite as well as I want to, but right. Uh, right now it's just trying to figure out why. I've yet to talk to Billy or um, I haven't reached out to him. Or his kids. And, and anyway, speaking of being able to move, I don't think anyone moves as well as Dante Martin. I'll moves. second that. Dante Martin could be one of the most athletic talents I have ever seen. Case in point. And I got to get J.D. Drake pops. He's out here and he's dressed kind of like the old boss man. He gives me a little bit of reminiscence of the boss man. Ray Trailer. Big drop kick again. Dante Martin is just electrifying the things he can do. Yeah, but it, to Dante's credit, he makes it look so easy. Yeah. People don't realize how hard the stuff he, that he does is. Oh, there's a contradiction. Pretty Peter. Mm -hmm. And there's not a contradiction. There's a big boy right there. Yeah, well, this is, again, well, watch out. Too many men, too many people. That's the MO. That's yeah. why they're vaxxed and waxed. And, they're packed tight like coffee. They always roll together. Packed like a, tight like coffee. I love it. Yeah, they're like a pack of dogs, too. They, they really are. Not taking anything away from J.D. Drake. No. J.D. Yeah. Drake's a thug. Yes, he, and he, he's, he's a damn good one. You know, he might be dressed right now like a, you know, a banjo player in a blues band, but, you know, he can throw down. <laughs> and right now, oh, just ugly. Him. He's just that him. bear paw right into the ground, head spiking Dante Martin. That's got to, Dante's got to be careful. He gives up such a weight and size disadvantage to J.D. Drake. And J.D. Drake can move for a big guy, too. People don't understand, he's a 300-pounder, but he's pretty light on his feet. You know, Dante Martin needs to change, change the tempo right now. You know, having these goofballs in your face and pretty Peter taking advantage is just... No, Dante well, needs to get him some backup. Well, as soon as Darius is healed back up, maybe Top Flight get back together, I would think. Be I would chance. love to see Top Flight get back together. Me too. You know, I just look at Dante Martin, and I just, I almost drool at the potential this kid's career has, you know? Again, Dante. Just so yeah. athletic. He makes it look effortless and easy. Swatted him, tried to swat two drop kicks, today, but here goes Dante once again. Just so fluid, everything is smooth. I mean, just slow. Ends a great to the back of the head that time, and his hand-eye coordination is off the charts. But case in point, I mean, who thinks of stuff like that? Only somebody that can do it. Yeah, it, it just it is so natural. Pele kick that time. He made that Pele kick look easy. Yeah, he sure did. I mean, you got to wonder if a style like that, because he's going to live by the sword and die by the sword. That's so easy for him, but that style also gets him in a lot of trouble, if unsuccessful. Oh. And now. Oh, that was a good shot. And yeah, Ryan Nemeth, the Hollywood hunk, got involved. And again, back in. Oh, a back elbow. It's like Dante Martin should get double pay for having to fight all four of them. Absolutely. Oh, my, oh, look at that. He used it his advantage. He went over the turnbuckle, used the momentum to crash down on the wax crew. And, and just to show you how he can hang in the air, he grabbed the top of the of the ring post that time. Leapfrogged it. Yes, he did. One, two, no. Well, that's a yet. big sunset flip. Mike Posey says no, and how about a drop kick? Yeah, that single leg stick by J.D. Gray. 
shows his athleticism. The blue collar badass. Oh, and a side slam. He's a big boss, man. How about that? One, two, th no, two count. Yeah, Dante Martin's resilience is off the charts. He's young. He's like a rubber band. Yep. He recovers so fast. That's the thing when I see athletes like that. I remember being a young, young rubber band myself. <laughs> now I'm like a frozen rubber brand. <laughs> I remember those days, Paul. Yeah. And, ooh, cannonball. Look how he evaded that front cannonball yeah. roll. Uh, Dante springboard again into a moonsault. One, two, three. Good job, Dante Martin. No winner of this match. Dante Martin. Well, the good thing is you and I aren't going to fight if you get the last word in, so. Yeah, I know. Out of respect for you, sir, you get the last word. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Let's take a fault. Uh, tell us about the replay first. Right play. There's that good moonsault. Here's Dante Martin hooking the leg. Look at that double springboard rope to rope. Shows off that athleticism. Hooks the leg deep. Great win for Dante Martin. He actually had to fight four people to get that win. Top flight in effect on elevation. Up next on Elevation, women's competition. You've got it. Rio's up next. This next contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Making her way to the ring from Shinagawa City, Japan, Rio. One of your favorites, Tony Dunn Smile. One of our AEW top contenders. The first AEW Women's World Champion to the broad, infectious smile that she has. She's always smiling. Always smiling. 15 wins for her in her AEW career. Number one was the one we'll always remember. Her opponent from Crystal Lake, Illinois, Sky Blue. And there's Sky Blue, her opponent, before the match gets underway. Don't forget, Dynamite is coming to Orlando at the Edition Financial Arena for AEW Saturday Night Dynamite, Saturday, October 23rd. That's in Orlando. And then Wednesday, November 17th, we'll be in Norfolk at the Chartway Arena for AEW Dynamite. That's Wednesday, November 17th. Tickets for both events are now on sale. Start at 29 bucks plus fees at AEWTIX.com Orlando and Norfolk, Virginia on campus. Now correct me if I'm wrong, Tony, but Rio won that women's division in her, the first all-out, correct? Uh, number one contender match. Number one contender match. Right. I knew it was something at all-out. Right. So it was in this building. Two years ago. Two years ago. There you go. How about that? And the Sky Blue, who, by the way, is only four years' experience. That's one of the things about Rio, her experience, 15 years. She wrestled, started wrestling at age nine. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. 15 years in, started wrestling yeah. at age nine. Isn't it amazing? Just you know, And that always helps with ring awareness and experience and keeping your composure. Because that happens to a lot of younger talent. They get rattled by the crowd. They get wrapped up in the crowd. They lose their composure. You know, that's one of the things that that experience comes into play. You remember where you are at all times. And we mentioned earlier she was trained, of course, by Emmy Sakura, who we saw earlier in this program. That's so, uh, you know, Emmy has had a, a profound influence on her career. And look at this. Like a bow and arrow. Bow and arrow type maneuver. And just a little added pressure that time. Look at that. Uh, Hook under the chin. Well, yeah. Under the chin, absolutely. Yeah, that just folds that back up, stretches those lungs out. It's hard for the lungs to contract, so it's hard to get a breath. Plus, being at that angle, the carbon dioxide builds up in the lungs. It'll really make them winded quick. You know, that's a long explanation for a bow and arrow. Right. But those are the things that go into it. People don't understand when you're blowed up, you can't wrestle because fatigue makes cowards of us all. Physics, baby. And Physics. Oh, look the at theme that. Theme of the night. Nice spinning back kick. This guy blew. Yeah. Sky Blue is going to take a head of steam and do a little cartwheel into a European, European uppercut. Absolutely. And snap mared her over. Nicely done here by Sky Blue. One, two. And a two count. Sky Blue seems like she's really solid. Got her stuff together. Sky holds uh, three women's titles in independent wrestling here ah, in the Chicagoland area. I believe it now. I can yeah. see it. She's got the composure. So the fans here watching here know her very, very well. 
Nice armbar. Really hooked in deep. Control her opponent. Make Rio expend energy to get out of that hole. Oh, there's a roll up. Roll her up. And Rio catches the leg. Oh. Wow, look like a big shot right across the chest. A forearm shot right across the chest. And a full arm drag and twist and a reversal. Uh, classic full arm drag and a twist. Yes, sir. And a drop toe hold across the middle rope. Sky Blue really ate that second rope right now. And Rio. There you go. There's a, there's a Rio turn and a twist. Rio turning a twist. Here comes Rio up top. Sky Blue looking to, to get her bearings here and big crossbody. One, two, nope. Got out in two. Good cross face. Yeah, big cross face. Notice that she's got the arm of Sky Blue between her legs to where she can't get that left arm out. Let it be that. Eliminates the ability to spin out of the hole to get your head out of it. Right. But she was kind of smart enough to get to the ropes. So things when you get a shoulder locked and your head's being twisted, sometimes people tap out from that. If you get it locked in right, it's super uncomfortable to say the least. The title reign of Riho, by the way, our first champion was 133 days. Wow, 133 days. Ended by Nyla Rose in February of 2020. And tumbling through, ducking through. Oh, wow. wow. What a kick by Sky Blue. That wow. was on target. One, two, Ooh. Sky Blue. That was close. Great kick by Sky Blue. Wow. wow. That was right on target. Trying to snap Mare over, uh, shoved off. Oh. Speaking on target, that was a big high knee for yeah. Rio. Big knee strike. And now, with the bridge, Northern Lights suplex, got a two. Sky Blue's still in this thing. She's still in it. She's doing a great job representing her hometown. The Spunky Spitfire. That's what they call her right here. I like it. Oh, the Samato. One, two, three. Samato, good night -o. Now we're on this match. Three ho. Her double knee strike got the win over a very, very game Sky Blue. Heck of a match, ladies. Here's the replay, Paul. Samato. Running, Samato. Put that leg, big deep cover on Sky Blue. Good win, Rio. Good competition, good showing by Sky Blue. Her 16th win, Rio. All 98 pounds of her. All 98 pounds. It's wonderful. It's main event time on Elevation. The team of John Moxley, Eddie Kingston, and Darby Allen will face Chaos Project and RSP. Your main event is a trio's tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, at a total combined weight of 713 pounds, the team of RSP and Chaos Project. Well, RSP and Chaos Project, kind of an uneasy alliance already. It's definitely uh, a unique collaboration. <laughs> well, very well said. Collaboration, right? <laughs> Not necessarily a team. No, no, definitely not a team. Just a uh, collaboration of fellows. Now this building's going to erupt now for the three men who will face Chaos Project and RSB. Oh, man. And their opponents first. Being accompanied to the ring by the icon, Sting from Seattle, Washington. Well, in 170 pounds, Darby Allen! It's always a, uh, oh, I'm sorry, always I was a, just gonna say, every time I look at Darby Allen, guts, you know, integrity, art, fight, determination, all these adjectives come to mind. 
All I mean, the attributes. Incredible talent. Yeah, all the attributes to make you a great, successful pro wrestler, right? Or successful athlete. And at a combined weight of 475 pounds, Eddie Kingston and John Moxley. John Wildman Hawkins. Gotta love it. This guy is super intense. And then he's out there with our crazy occasional broadcast partner, Eddie Kingston, who we know is a few cards short of a full deck. And I mean that with a lot of love. Eddie, Mr. Excitement Kingston. Some guys walk to the ring and they just got bad intent on their brain. Somebody's gonna get hurt. I think it's a very intimidating sight to see John Moxley walk to the ring. Oh man, he's <laughs> John Moxley's tougher than a bag of hammer. And if Eddie Kingston doesn't hook the leg tonight on the cover, I'll never let him live it down. We're gonna keep count here, I can tell you that. John Moxley will return home to Cincinnati. Coming up Wednesday night, in a mere two days with Dynamite live in Cincinnati. Here we go. Definitely Eddie Kingston style, rocking and rolling right off the bat. Bell has getting the, sound, the action. Yeah. Eddie Kingston. There he is, bite oh. him on the ear. Such an animal. And then we've got Stink. And then Darby him. Allen. Look how quick Darby Allen is. Absolutely. Two says Bryce Rimsburg, our referee for this matchup. Watch out, Darby up on top. That's dangerous. He's maybe going for that coffin drop. Serpentico was smart enough to get out of town. Oh, by the way, the event in Cincinnati Wednesday is at the Fifth Third Arena at the University of Cincinnati. And shotgun drop kick that time. Serpentico. Bounced out to the center of the ring. Darby will make a well, make a cover. He's trying to. I think Serpentico's just squirming because he's in pain and not keeping his shoulders down. Boy, Darby getting the face of referee Bryce Rimsburg. Notice the intensity on Darby Allen. Yeah. It's like Darby Allen's been pushed to the limit and come back from the other side, forged harder. He goes for oh. Oh, there's went for a coffin drop and got upset that time by. Luther on the outside, and now Darby's in trouble. Watch, John Moxley's seen enough, buddy. <laughs> He's a lunatic. Yeah, he is, man. Chair came in first. Meanwhile, Luther doesn't care. Luther's just over here chopping meat. Look at Darby fighting back, slapping Luther across the face. He's just infuriated Luther. I wonder how many frozen heads Luther has in his fridge. Oh, home. come on now. <laughs> I'm just saying, Luca looks like a serial killer. <laughs> I'm calling it now. Uh, he looks like a serial killer. <laughs> like, I would hate to be on a car ride with Luther and run out of gas. <laughs> like, he'd probably peel me and wear me for a coat. Oh. Poor Serpentico. He'd sent Serpentico in, and now using Serpentico's head, slugging the midsection. Like, Serpentico's got to have some kind of good union insurance or something. No, I don't events. know, man. It's, it's a group a, health plan? It's, it's a, he tried to cover, and he was still woozy. Okay. Serpentico reminds me of those old Hollywood stuntmen that got an extra bump in pay every time they got hit with something. I wonder if he gets an extra bump from Luther every time he's used as a, as a battering ram. And here is our first look at RSP. Tell by the scars, RSP is a death match specialist. You see that backdrop into a kick on the way down? RSP. Like the insult, the injury. 
The RSP comes from the same death match background as John Moxley. More than 70 death matches to his credit, by the way. Wow. So he can hurt you, man. He first made his first appearance in July in AEW. Now gives way to the death dealer himself, Dr. Luther. Ooh. Dr. Luther. What is that degree in? Uh, pain. Degree in death matches? There's a death match of pain. Uh, and Mortician? Could be. Frozen heads? I don't know. Frozen heads? Something. Something creepy, I promise you. And Darby's in one uh, against Serpentico after all those things that Luther does to him. He can't really make much of a cover. He just kind of lays on him. Oh, yeah. I mean, you wonder how Serpentico might do on his own without yeah. the uh, Luther influences. Just manhandling poor Darby. Oh, that's just so creepy. Yeah. Oh, it just makes my skin crawl every time. I mean, Luther may no, be a nice yes. man that has a, an adopt a puppy farm or something, but uh, he just scares the bejesus out of me. And meanwhile, Eddie Kingston's changing everything. Like, what are these two lunatics doing? No. Oh, no. Oh, my God. And that's Eddie Kingston for you, ruining the party. Luther and Serpentico couldn't get on the same page. And Eddie, Eddie Kingston just said, ah, that's enough of that garbage. <laughs> uh, on the chest and on the belly. I don't know if... Uh... <laughs> Eddie went bye-bye there for a second. I think Eddie almost blew himself up. Uh. You know, why do one when 50 will do? Well, right now, Luther's feeling those things. What the hell are we watching? Oh, God. Hey, Luther ducked out of the way that time. He absorbed all those blows. And boy, Just a rake to the eyes of Eddie Kingston. I tell you, that's the great equalizer, Paul. It's, sure it's, it's a simple, wow, simple thing, but a rake to the, uh-oh. A good spinning back chop to cut Luther right across the side of the head. John Moxley says, bring it to me. Bring it to me! Bring it to me! Now Moxon is all about RSP. Yeah, he does. And here's a pickup. Oh, an exploder that time. Moxley just changes his brain and goes to another, another dimension. If his brain checks out, he turns his pain receptors off and turns his go receptors on. The go receptors, love them. RSP now with elbow shots in the back of the head. Moxley absorbed those. Oh, man, did not duck that in Zaguri. Didn't see that one. I didn't expect that either, yeah. honestly. Wow. You know, I didn't expect RSP to be that light on his feet. No, me neither. He's a big guy, and he is light on his feet. He needs to get up quickly. And there he is. Oh, try to sit out power bomb that time. Tell these guys have studied each other. That suplex was a page out of John Moxley's book. Well, I said power bomb, sit out splash, and here comes Eddie. Here comes another one. Can he like get it? He's trying to get it. Looks Sir like it Pentico. Oh, he got a foot for his trouble. And Paradigm Shift. Oh! Nope. Send him over the top. And here's Darby back in it. <laughs> and he is a man on a mission. Sure he is. Which the mission would be a coffin drop. Wow, blew the spit right out of RSP. Or a tooth. It's over. You don't get up the conference, Rob. The team of John Moxley, Eddie Kingston, and Darby Allen. There's that big coffin drop from Darby Allen. There's no getting up from that. RSP got the spit knocked out of him. Darby Allen hooking the leg just in case. For Paul White, the one and only, and for Eddie Kingston, I'm Tony Schiavone. Tomorrow night's dark here on YouTube, Wednesday night live at Cincinnati for Dynamite.